Kevin began his career here over 30 years ago. Uh, he's been a patrol deputy, he's been a detective, he's been assigned to the Drug Task Force, he's been a lieutenant, chief of uh, the Civil Division, which includes administration and the chief of the uh, Major Crimes Unit. I've wanted to be in law enforcement since I was a kid, basically. This is my dream job. You know, I, I consider myself pretty fortunate that uh, I got to do what I'd wanted to do since I was a kid, you know. Well, other than I also wanted to be a rodeo writer or a professional football player, but I became a cop instead. I spent, you know, five years in the Coast Guard, you know, learning maritime law enforcement in the those formative years between like 19 and 21 before I could apply and uh, got to experience that aspect of it and that's actually what led me to the job here with Whatcom County Sheriff's Office. Kevin has been responsible for leading detectives in solving some of the major crimes here, the homicides, the cold case squad. He's also been responsible for implementing a number of uh, changes uh, in how we function in our administration and the Records Bureau. So he has been just a, a godsend uh, to everyone here at the Sheriff's Office. I've spent, you know, a third of my career uh, or more actually uh, involved in narcotic law enforcement, both as a detective, as the sergeant in charge of the drug task force, and then as the lieutenant or chief as the commander of the task force. So, you know, a good 20 years has been involved in narcotics law enforcement. I also spent some time in major crimes, and uh, the investigation side of it is really what uh, has kind of been my focus is for my career. There's a lot of moments that I was extremely proud of that things that we did as a team to solve, you know, the, the Mandy Stavick case. Um, but I think maybe the proudest moment was when my oldest son decided to follow in the family business and, uh, you know, started as a corrections deputy and then uh, eventually came out to patrol and uh, him graduating the academy was uh, one of my proudest moments and I continue to be proud of him as he uh, continues with his career. And What I'm gonna miss most here, I think, is uh, the people. You know, I mean, the, this has really kind of become family to me and there's many relationships that I have here that I know will continue after retirement but I'm not gonna be seen on a daily basis. The people are really what make any agency as strong as it is and we have great people here at Whatcom County so that's that's definitely going to be the part I'll miss the most so just wish him well in his uh, retirement but he's really not retiring he's going on to be the mayor of the city of Nooksack and we wish him uh, well out there as well so I was fortunate enough to decide on a new realm that I wanted to do and be elected as mayor of a small city here in Whatcom County and uh, that's my next challenge is, is working on that and serving my local community. We're dealing with some tough times out there right now in regards to some flooding and some natural disasters. So, you know, trying to learn the new intricacies and challenges of running a city and dealing with the federal government and things like that. That's, uh, that's my new challenge and I think that's going to be a full-time job just laying into that. I'm fortunate to have survived this career and, uh, you know, I have some brothers and sisters that have not over the years and that always hits a little bit close to home and uh, I want to thank uh, I guess my family too for putting up with me throughout the years. It's not easy being uh, married or the offspring of a law enforcement officer. Between them and the mentors that I've had here that have you know helped me provide a leadership style I think is that's that's some of the things that I'll kind of cherish and take with me as I retire here. So, Thank you, Kevin, and don't be a stranger, and uh, look forward to many years of collecting those retirement checks.